Aloha. Aloha! Welcome to Tantrum House Studio 808. I'm Amy X. And I'm Psychic Larry. And today we're doing our top 10 list of 2022. So, in case you're wondering, the guys did a video, the girls did a video. Why weren't we in that video? We're the Rogue Studio. We don't do what everybody else does. We want to do our own thing, go our own way, forge our own trails. Larry, do you want to start us out with your... Number 10. All right, my number 10 is a game that I don't have here. It is Marrakesh by Queen Games. I'll draw a picture. I'll draw a picture of it. Oh yeah? I'll draw a Do picture. Do you know what the box looks like? Uh, I'll make it up. It's a game that I actually only played once at Origins this year, but it was super fun. And I think if we actually had it here and I got to play more, it would definitely go up in my list. But anyway, Marrakesh by Queen Games is a game that you play in three rounds. You, each person will have four turns in the round. Uh, but on your turn, you're selecting three of your 12 action cubes uh, simultaneously, secretly, and then everybody reveals them at one time. And then you put all of the cubes into a tower and the tower spits cubes out. And it also keeps some cubes in there, like some of the cubes get stuck, so not all the cubes come out. And then you go into a drafting phase where you're drafting these colored cubes and the cubes actually uh, power up your actions for future turns. And then you go around and take your actions that you previously selected. And basically you're trying to collect some resources to buy items and try to gain the most points, obviously. But it was a super fun game. I can't wait till we can get a copy here and play it more because it is my number 10, Marrakesh. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Just like the box. Cheater! <laughs> What's okay. your number 10? My number 10 is um, chocolate chip cookies. Cookies? Yeah, I did my top, my top 10 favorite Christmas cookies instead. It's still a top 10. It fits, it's fine. Do you want a cookie? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so my number 10 is chocolate chip cookies. I know they're... Okay, I don't even know if this is technically a Christmas mm. cookie. you got to put red and green mm. sprinkles on it. And they're only on my list because he loves chocolate chip cookies. And I'm like, okay, I'll make you them for Christmas. So that is why chocolate chip cookies are my number 10 because I don't consider them actually Christmas cookies. Rude. Number 9. My number nine is a game, a tiny little game in a box called Cat in the Box by Bezier Games. It is a trick-taking game where the cards actually don't have any suit colors on top of them. You base the color of the card on the player board that's on the table. It's a little twist on trick-taking and I like it. Cat in the Box by Bezier Games, number nine. My number nine is... Jam thumbprints. They're covered in walnuts. You basically, yeah, stick your thumb in them before you bake them. And then when you take them out, you kind of just shove some, some jelly in there. So that's my number nine. Jam thumbprints. Number eight. My number eight is a game we've been waiting for for years. Years, I tell you. Oh, let me get it for you. Oh no. This is oh. the game cup. Oh Frost my goodness. Haven. It's real heavy. <laughs> Literally 30 plus pounds in the mail. Uh, we also have the wooden inserts. So it's probably over 40 pounds now. But it would be higher on my list, but I haven't got to play a ton of it yet. <laughs> it would be higher, but it's so heavy. Can't get it up there. <laughs> it's. 
Mm. It's so heavy. Keep talking, please. But yes, this is Frost Haven. If you haven't heard of it, where have you been living? Under a rock? <laughs> Under a box. My number eight is spritz cookies. Spritz are like um, butter cookies. You can do them with Crisco as well, but it changes the texture a little bit. Normally I do Christmas trees and snowflakes and poinsettias and you color the dough all different colors, but I was cookied out. These were the last ones that I made. I was cookied out at that point. So I was like, we're doing trees and that's it. And they all have red sprinkles and there's no creativity in these cookies at all, but they're delicious and I love them. Number eight, spritz. Number seven. My number seven game is a game called game. The Guild of Merchant Explorers by AEG. A great game with a terrible title. This is a flip and write, uh, which you flip cards and then you write on your pad. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I like it. There are different maps they have already put out. So lots of replayability, quick to learn. The Guild. That's all it is. Just the Guild. <laughs> we are renaming the game to The Guild. Uh, my number seven is Pecan Snowballs. Now, normally, um, these would be Pecan Crescents, but a friend of mine made these, and I was like, oh, sweet. These are in my list in my top 10 list, so now I don't have to make them. I can just use the ones that you gave us. So thank you, Antoinette. That's my number seven, seven pecan snowballs. Number six. My number six is the only party game in my list here. It is called Green Team Wins by 25th Century Games. This is a great game just to pull out. It's real quick to learn, uh, easy for people to play, mm -hmm. and it is can be super funny if you get some people that are crazy playing this game. <laughs> I love this game too. If I had a list, this would definitely be on it. We've played it a Many ton, times. So, definitely. And the green team always wins. Yeah, Oddly they always enough. do. I don't know. My number six is Ginger Snaps. Uh, my favorite drink is a chai tea latte, and I, shush, I love um, those like warming spices. So ginger snaps are obviously one of my favorite cookies. And whenever I make them, I make them super tiny. So you can eat like 18 of them in one sitting and not feel bad because they're just so little and cute. So that's my number six, ginger snaps. Number five. My number five is a game from Board and Dice called Terracotta Army. In this game, you're using your workers on the rondelle to get some resources, take some actions, and ultimately you're trying to create your Terracotta Army huh. in the mausoleum, which is on the other side of the board. My number five, Terracotta Army. My number five is the peanut butter kisses. These are peanut butter cookies that as soon as you pop them out of the oven, you need to have a- Contaminate them with kisses. <laughs> you have a stock of unwrapped Hershey's Kisses. Kish, kishish, kishish. Hershey's Kisses that you then squish into all of them and then the chocolate gets all melty and then you eat them like a whole plate of that's what some people do. I don't know who would do that, but um, you can always reheat them in the microwave um, to get that same delicious experience. So that's my number five. Hershey's Kisses. Peanut butter. Peanut butter kisses. Number four. My number four is a deduction game called Touring Machine by Scorpion Mask. So if you don't like deduction, scratch it off your list here. Uh, basically, you're trying to solve the three number code. Uh, you're taking the perforated cards, you stack them together, they all have holes in them. You either an X or a check mark, then you know if you got the number right or the number wrong. 
Um, and you're solving the code based on the clues they're giving you on the table. You can play it by yourself. It's a pretty neat game. I like the concept of it. Reminds me of SAT tests. But they have so many different uh, codes and scenarios. You can play over 7 million different ones online too. So check it out. Touring machine. A lifetime of SATs for your enjoyment. My number four is a Galachki. Bless you. They are Polish cookies. I'm half Polish. So this recipe is my grandma's recipe. So growing up, whenever we would go to grandma's house for New Year's Eve, she would always have kolachki. She would do raspberry and apricot and cheese. Um, and she would also make pierogies. And then it was just oh, so good. Um, so these are super nostalgic for me. Uh, they are a cream cheese based cookie. And then you put whatever flavor of jelly that you want. We did strawberry because he likes strawberry. And I also found some Hawaii jelly in the fridge that I used. It was strawberry guava, strawberry only guava. the best jelly ever. But yeah, that's my number four, Glotchki. Bless you. Number three. My number three is another game from Board and Dice, Teletum. It is a dice game where you are selecting dice, managing your dice uh, in order to do actions on the board as you tour around Europe. Basically, you're gonna select the die and the face-up number tells you how many of the resource you get. And then the opposite side of the die would be the power of the action that you would be performing. So it's kind of cool play on dice there um, and ways to do different things in the game. But I like this game, a little crunchy game with dice. Teletum. My number three is not a cookie, but still delicious. <gasps> not a cookie. Fudge, specifically peanut fudge mallow. I think that's what we call it. I don't really know. But it's chocolate and peanut butter and marshmallows all melted together into goodness. I have eaten so much of this. This is all that's left of the 8x8 pan that I made. Um, Larry had a piece. Lily probably had several pieces. And I ate the rest. Like literally, I have eaten a pan of this fudge. It is so good and I will never get sick of it. And that's why it's my number three. Peanut fudge mallow. Number two. My number two is a colossal game. <laughs> By Forbidden Games. <laughs> called <laughs> Mosaic. Oh. There you go. Oh, Mosaic. A story of civilization. <laughs> this is the colossal edition, which is great. You should play with the Colossal Edition. Mosaic is an action selection game uh, where you are trying to build cities, build ports around uh, the map and trying to get the most influence there. You're also upgrading technologies and doing some some set collection with the different types of technologies. Um, but it's a great little civilization game that you should try out. Here. Mosaic. Are you done? Dig it. Oh, my number two. <laughs> My number two is much lighter than that game. It's a no roll sugar cookie. These are melt in your mouth delicious. They're a butter cookie and I also didn't make these. <gasps> My mom started making her Christmas cookies and these were one of the first ones that she made. And I was like, hey mom, can I borrow some of those so I don't have to make a whole nother batch of cookies? And she said, okay, sure. So these are hers, um, but they're, it's the same recipe that I normally make and they're delicious and I love them. Number two, no roll sugar cookie. Number one. We have made it to the end. The number one game of 2022. According to him. Ark Nova. Where are you? Ark Nova. Uh, technically, 
people will point out they came out in 2021. Okay. Technically, it came out in 2021. But who among you had a copy of this in 2021? No one. I dare say. I dare say. None of you. It was very hard to get in 2021. Most people got it in 2022. So I'm including it here in 2022. Also, we had a new map back. So technically, <laughs> we had new content for this game in 2022. But I love Arc Nova. Uh, you're playing with five cards in front of you. Your five actions. That's all you can do in the whole game. Five different actions. Oh, but so it's a quick game. Yes, an easy two and a half hour game. <laughs> but you're creating your own zoo, building enclosures, adding animals to it, uh, trying to do conservation tasks. That's my number one. What's your favorite animal? Ark Noba. What's your favorite animal? The panda. Mm. My number one favorite Christmas cookie of 2022 and forever beyond that is, of course, can you guess it? Nope. A cutout cookie. This is... A cookie. Oh, gosh. I was going to say nostalgic. Oh, yes. My mom would make like three batches of this. She would triple the recipe and then she would cover our whole dining room table with wax paper and she would be frosting on one side furiously. So the rest of the us kids, me and all my siblings could decorate them all. There was sprinkles flying everywhere and I'm sure it was a huge mess, but we loved it. Every year we would all decorate Christmas cookies together and then we would have all these Tupperware containers full of cutouts and they would be gone in like two weeks. But that's what, like the reason why these are my favorite Christmas cookies because of all the memories that are tied to them. Um, so yeah, my number one are poorly decorated cutout cookies. We have we made it. it. That is our top 10 cookies. Board get list, top 10 lists of 2022. We hope you liked it. Uh, if you haven't checked out the other top 10 lists from the guys and the gals on Tantrum House channel, go ahead and check them out. So until next time, aloha! These are my honorable mentions because they are expansions. So I didn't really mm, include them because they're not really full games. But dude, Imperium came out. With the rise of Ix this year, also Immortality, which hopefully Santa will bring us for Christmas. The other one is a, a little bigger box. Um, it is uh, the oh oh Everdale, the complete complete collection. collection here. Yeah, yeah, it got everything in here. But they came out with the expansions, Miss Wood and the New Leaf. Uh, this year, and we just decided to get all of it. But that is my other honorable mention. <laughs> I also have two honorable mentions. Number one, Little Debbie Christmas Tree Brownies. There's something about the Christmas tree ones with little ornaments on them that you eat off individually, and then you eat down the tree like this. Uh, my other one is Reese's Christmas mm, Trees. Yummy. Can we do the video? Can we start the video? Oh, Christmas cookie, oh, Christmas cookie. Teletum. 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 Deck the halls of mounds of cookies. And a rotel. Rotunda? On a rondelle. Rondelle.